And hi guys, Renee here, and it looks like we are really close, if not there, to catching up on all the shipping. Um, back office tells us that by Thursday, it'll be order in, order out. Imagine it. So we are ready to rock. So, so many of you have just gotten your product. You're just starting to take it. You're getting amazing experiences and results. And you're telling people, and now you're like, uh, how do I share this? How do I start making some commissions or getting some prover box? What's that all about? So I wanted to do a quick video just to show you exactly how to do that. So the, this video is showing you how to get your own Prove It site so that you can just share that link with people and have them just go there and order the product under you. So you might have noticed when you first went in to do your order, at the very end of the order after you placed it, little Prove It boxes come up and they kind of had you keep going, continue, continue, and you got to a place where it said referrer code. And if you wanted to put in your own referrer code, that's where you went. Some of you did that, some of you didn't. And if you didn't, you really need to get a good refer code. So this is how you do it. I made this video to show you. So here's the top part of my back office. So I'm putting my cursor here, wiggling it around so you can see it. You're going to go up to your name, which is on the top right. You can see where my cursor is. And you click on the drop-down menu there. And what you're going to see is settings. So click on your settings button. Over here then on far left, it says referrer code. You want to click on referrer code and there you have mine is, you can see I got in really early, I got my own name, renee.proveitnow.com. Now if you don't have put your zone in yet, it probably has um, some gobbledygook here, right? Some letters and numbers. So all you have to do is click edit and put in whatever it is that you want. And you'll see whatever you put in here, it will own either click available or not available. And if it's not, it just means somebody else took that. You put something in and then you save the changes. And that is now the, the um, website that you're going to show people in order to have them come in under you, which is really cool. All right, so I'm going to save changes there, which got that going. And, of course, it's taking a minute or two. <laughs> anyway, here's what's interesting. Whenever you want to get to, I'm calling this your back office, and that's what you're seeing that I have up here. It's a different website than our regular website. In other words, you don't want to go to your uh, proveitnow.com website and log in. You're not going to get to this back office. So you're going to have to make sure that you jot down the two different websites. Again, this is the one that you're going to send your clients to. But when you want to go to your back office, you're going to go to, are you ready? You're going to go to cloud, C-L-O-U-D, dot, uh, just, prove it, dot com, J-U-S-T, prove it, dot com. When you come up to that, What's going to happen is you're going to go into, let me just see if I can even show you. Well, if I do that, oh, there we go on that. If I do that, what's going to happen is you're just going to see my login. So let's go ahead and I'll show that again to you. So I'm going to go to, I'm going to move this over. If I can, the screenshot so you can see. I'm going to go up here to cloud. See, it's cloud.justproveit.com. And what will come in, I've already have my login, which is your email and your password. Okay, that's what you're going to put in with, with the passwords, whatever password that you originally came in with. Okay, so that should make that a little bit easier. Now, also on here, there's some great stuff. I'm going to slide this down because what you want to do is when you go into your back office, let me draw this down for you so you can see. Um, you're going to get messages. And this is where all the cool messages, you know, are going to come up here so that you know what's going on. If you come over here to the left, you're going to see, see it does, we'll tell you your website link, but the downloads. If you've got some money in there because you've recommended this to people, just go to clicking access your wallet. It will tell you exactly how to set up your wallet. It has perfect performance rewards game plan. That's just how you can get paid if you're looking to do that. One is complete and one is the overview. 
Um, it's going to have your prove it do's and don'ts, which is how you want the things that you want to be able to do in terms of sharing what you can say and what you can't, and the purchase and BV guide, which will go along with your performance game plan. All right, so that's all that. Now, the next part that I wanted to show you is, I'm going to slide this back up again, and we're going to go into how to share different um, experiences with your friends on Facebook. Because a lot of people aren't really sure how to do it. They're like, well, how do I share this? Well, the company really has it set up so that here's the game plan, okay? You get your product, you start to take it, you have great experiences, you want to share that with people. So you're either going out and talking to people and then giving them your website, your Prove It website to sign up, or you can also do it on Facebook, which is just a great way to do it. And so you might have taken pictures of yourself. You want to put your before and after picture. You want to put just a little bit of, wow, I can't believe this. I'm take, getting great results. You don't want to overdo the constant, you know, Facebook or prove it, prove it. But here and there, you just want to send out, a, you know, really interesting kinds of posts. Feel free to look on my timeline um, and then go into our groups that we have set up. If you are not in any of our groups and want to be added, just um, let me know. Um, we're in Keto123. We've got Provers and Shakers. We have a couple others. They're great places for you to get information. And once you've posted your own story, you might find that there are some other people's stories that you would like to also share because other people have different experiences. Um, I just posted something today about a woman who was in a lot of pain and our chiropractor recommended it and she got out of pain. Well, that's not my personal story, but I sure want to post that because there are a lot of people that are friends that see my timeline that are in pain and maybe that would click something with them, which actually it did. Let me just share that with you real quick so you don't even have to go to mine. I'm going to see if I can whoop, roll that down. Ah, uh, that didn't work now, did it? So sorry about that. I'm going to go back. <laughs> you can see I'm not as used to using this. Let's see if I go down. Is that working? It's not. There we go. I'm going to keep placing it down. Hang in here with me, guys. Hang in. Here we go. So Motivation Monday. I always like that. I use Motivation Monday, and then I'll find a really good story to share. Right? So I put today's Motivation Monday. It um, doesn't have a picture. Typically, I really like it when there's a picture because, boy, pictures are worth a thousand words. But this was about pain. So I went ahead and shared that. And look, I already got somebody who wanted some information. Okay? So that's really cool. All right. So you want to post a picture. So here's what I wanted to do. I brought up um, one of our groups. This was from Keto123. And here's Terry Archibald, who had a great result, right? So what you can do is you can click right, just put your cursor, left click on the picture, and up it will come, okay? Now, underneath the picture, let's see if I can roll this down. Here we go. There is a place here that says share, and a lot of people do that, and that's okay. What I choose to do, however, is I put my cursor on the picture, and I right click. So I'm going to do that. I right click and I save the image. I'm going to do this. I save the image in my, on my hard drive. So I have a place with pictures. So I'll click on pictures. And this one was, her name is Terry Archibald. So I might put Terry Archibald or Terry Arch just so I know what it is before and after, right? And I think it's all together because she did a good job of putting it together and I'll save it. Okay, then what I'll do is I'll look over here. Let me go back up. Boop, 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 boop. Hang in with me. <laughs> I'll save it. And then I go up here and I will copy exactly what Terry has said. Now, you only want to do this when somebody has already given permission to share their picture. And you can see over here if somebody, she has not already said yes and I haven't asked. So I'm not actually going to do it. I'm just showing you. But I would, you know, copy all this and then I would go back over to my page 
and I'm not going to post it, but I'm just going to show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring up the before. I'm going to upload her picture, right? I'll go to Terry Archibald, Terry Arch, boom, boom, and up it'll come. Okay, and then I would copy what she said exactly, and I put might put, you know, a disclaimer on the bottom. I know we're supposed to do that, and I'll say something about it like, you know, oh my gosh, check out Terry's results. Done. And post. And you'll be amazed to see how many people came on and said something about that. Now, as a team, you guys, what we really need to do is get on each other's timelines and post stuff about our own experience, you know. Let's help, really help each other um, get get lots of comments going. So on this one, if you see that on mine, you might want to go in, oh my gosh, I'm getting amazing results too, this Keto OS rocks. And I can go in, you might even want to let me know, oh Renee, I just did a new post on mine. I'll go in and say, oh my gosh, I'm getting great results with Keto. So we can, as a team, really help promote because the more comments that you get on here, the more that Facebook is going to take it out on timelines. So I hope that this has been helpful. Come back and let me know. And if you have any other questions or other things in the back office that we can do, or I can do a video to help you with, I'd love to. Thanks and have a great day.